Welcome, I'm Stacia Perry, and it is my pleasure to take you on a special tour this evening. Tonight we will meet some of Jesus's closest friends and witnesses. We will hear their stories and personal encounters that they had with Jesus during the final days leading up to his death and resurrection. Follow me, let's get started. Stop here with this woman. Welcome to Jerusalem. <laughs> Welcome to Jerusalem. One day, our donkey and her colt were tied up in a village outside of town, and we were told that the Lord needed to use them. So the disciples came and took our donkey, and Jesus rode her through the streets of town. Let's go. The children and the townspeople waved palms, palm leaves and sang as Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Come listen to the children. I'm the money changer. When Jesus came into the temple, he knocked my table over. Will you help me pick it up? Thank you. I wish there was more time for you to help pick up the rest of the silver, but it's time for you guys to move on. Let's head into here and see who else is in town that can share with us. Hello. I'm Mark's mother. I am. My husband let Jesus and the disciples use our upper room. I was able to cook the last supper for Jesus and his disciples. I'm the priest that gave Judas Iscariot 30 pieces of silver to betray Jesus. Judas told us when and where we could arrest Jesus. He said, the man he kisses on the cheek will be Jesus. Look over here, this is where the Last Supper was held. Let's go see what these men have to say about it. Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to the Upper Room. We had just sat down when Jesus got up and got a bowl of water and started washing the dust off our feet. We were all surprised and wondered what Jesus was doing. When Jesus got to Peter, Peter said, Lord, you will never wash my feet. But Jesus told him, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. At that moment, Peter said, Then, Lord, wash all of me. Jesus told Peter, You have already had a bath. Now you only need your feet washed. I do this as an example of what you're, you are supposed to do for each other. Hello, I'm Andrew. And while we were eating, Jesus said that one of us was going to betray him. And we thought, surely not. Not one of us. Not I, is it, Lord? He said, the one that betrays me is the one that I give the bread to. He turned and he handed the bread to Judas Iscariot. And Judas got up immediately and left. Jesus then said, or Jesus then took the bread, gave thanks, and said, to eat it and he said this bread represents my body he then took the wine and he gave thanks and said this wine represents the blood the blood the blood the blood that was shed for the forgiveness of our sins jesus then said that he wouldn't eat with us again until he fulfilled the promise of his father's plan and i am Philip. would you believe that jesus told Peter that he was going to deny him not once, not twice, but three times before the rooster crowed. Peter said there was no way this was going to happen. After that, after we finished the Last Supper, Jesus invited Peter, James, and John to go with him to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Let's head into the Garden of Gethsemane now. <laughs> Jesus asked John, Peter, and James to keep watch while he went and prayed to his father. But when he came back, he found the disciples sleeping. Jesus told them, do not give into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He told them again to keep watching and keep praying. We will pray now. <sighs> So tired. Me too. 
but we, we must try and stay awake. <sighs> Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass for me. But if it cannot, your will be done. Jesus returned from praying and saw the men sleeping again. Behold, the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. The betrayer approaches. Rabbi, you betrayed me when the kids do? We will protect you. Stop this! Ah. And by a miracle, the soldier's ear was no longer missing. He had been fully healed by Jesus. Do not fight. This must be done to fulfill the scripture. Take him to St. Adrian. Come this way. Let's see what else has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be the right here. 